Welcome back to Ride JBI. This is JB. Today we are looking at the three different mid valve configurations that are possible to put inside of the WP Exact Pro cartridge system. The Exact Pro cartridge system is what you find inside of the WP cone valve forks, the WP Exact Pro 6500 cartridges, and the WP Explorer Pro 6500 and 7500 cartridges. So what I'm referring to is the damping cartridge assembly that is found inside of those forks and those cartridge kits. Now those cartridges are all very commonized. The key differentiator between all those different setups is how the mid valve is configured. And here I have laid out the three different options that are possible to build inside of it. And I'll go over each. All right, so starting here, this is the original cone valve system. This came out of a 2023 WP Exact Pro 7548 Pro Fork, AKA the cone valve fork. So here's the cone system and cone spring you can see right here. I'm gonna grab a little pointy tool so I can point as I talk to you guys. All right, so you can see our red cone right there and the cone spring that is underneath it. This silver part is what we call the cone adapter. I'm gonna set my phone down so it doesn't wiggle as much. Oh, awesome. So what happens is when oil flows this way and it flows through the mid valve, it is going to push on our red cone and that red cone is gonna push on this spring, allowing oil to flow through it. So when it comes to tuning these cone valve forks, we have a few different options on how we can tune them. We can change out the red cone for a different colored cones. The color tells you what taper or angle that the cone has. Different tapers or cone angles have an influence on how stiff or soft the fork feels. That would be similar to the taper of shim stack that you utilize on a shim stack assembly. Next, in between the cone and the cone spring, let's see if this shows. Can't see it in the camera, but there's a very thin washer in between the red cone and the cone spring. Those washers can be utilized if you want to preload, preload the cone spring, have zero preload on it, or even have some free float. And then lastly, the third tuning part that we have is the cone spring itself. Uh, this is a 50 Newton cone spring. It is very common for off-road and motocross applications. Um, outside of that, we have one softer cone spring that is a 25 Newton. And then from this 50 Newton, we have a few stiffer ones above it. Above that, next, we have the JBI Titanium Leaf Spring Mid-Valve Setup. Um, this replaces the cone valve configuration with the items that you see here. The gold plate is our titanium leaf spring washer. And instead of using a coil spring, we're now going to utilize shims to, to create what we call a leaf spring those leaf spring shims. I'm going to move this cartridge rod out of the way just so we can get a better view. Come on. Let's see if we can get this thing to focus. Ooh, there we go. And let's zoom in a little bit. A little much. Awesome. So the, spring, the shims that are directly against this gold plate, those are the leaf spring shims. And then the shims that are directly against our piston are the mid valve compression shims. So as oil flows through 
our mid valve on compression stroke. It is going to bend these shims open as so. And as they do that, it is going to compress the leaf spring shims against this. So what's nice about shim style mid valves is one, you have lots of tuning options. Whereas with cones, we have four different cones to choose from. Sorry, there may be five. And we have a few cone springs to choose from. As you go ahead and modify and change those, there's a certain level of change or magnitude of change that's always going to happen. With shims, uh, we can make very small adjustments, softer, or we can make very big adjustments with the shims. So there's much more tuning possibilities when it comes to shim stacks. Also, as you can see, the system is a lot more compact. We no longer have the large cone spring here. We no longer have the cone or the cone adapter needed. So there's something to be said about maybe a little more simplicity in the setup and a little bit less weight slash inertia uh, moving up and down in this system. Um, Red GBI likes the leaf spring system a lot. It's something that Yamaha has proven and shown to work really well in their KYB forks. They've been using on their production bikes since 2018 and uh, they use it in all of their KYB kit forks also. WP started utilizing the leaf spring style mid valve in their WP AER forks since 2020, I believe. And then they also started using it in the new 2024 WP closed cartridge spring fork that is on the 2024 KTM and Husqvarna off-road model bikes. Now, above this, I'm going to move this one out of the way. I have the mid valve configuration that comes inside of a WP Exact Pro 6500 or WP Explore Pro 6500. So, as you can see, between all of them, we always have the same mid valve piston. And this is what we call the older style, shim style mid valve setup. So, we have our shims against the piston face. And then behind these shims, it might be hard to tell, but we have a small compression spring right here. So as these shims lift off the face, this spring is what puts tension on the shims and helps them seal against the piston face. So on the leaf spring setup, we're replacing this spring with shims. So shims create a leaf spring to replace the job of this. So what's neat about that is we can tune the spring rate um, on this with the leaf spring system. You could tune the spring rate on this as well, but again, you're pretty limited on the tuning options. So if you've ever ridden the 6500 kits, the Explore or the Exact, um, you'll know that they work pretty dang well. And I think that just goes to show you how how well the WP Exact Pro cartridge system works and how well it responds to modifications, meaning regardless of how you want to set it up, whether you want this style of mid valve, the JBI leaf spring style mid valve, or the cone valve style mid valve, the cartridge system responds well to all those different changes. So I just wanted to show you guys the three different style of mid valves that come inside of these WP exact pro cartridges and what's available for it.